leaving Jupiter behind. And there she is, Saturn with her rings. From far away, it's a thin line. Up close, an ocean of ice. Dropping to the ring plane now. Let's see it from inside. We're skimming just above the rings, flying over a river of ice. Saturn looks massive, but its density is actually lower than water. Big enough to crush you, light enough to float in a cosmic bathtub. See that bigger chunk in the ring? We're actually landing on it. Standing here feels like being on an island in the middle of a frozen highway. These tiny grains are almost pure water. Little mirrors feeding the rings shine. A small jump turns into a slow float and soft landing, like a low gravity trampoline. Look down. Bright ring, dark gap, bright ring again. That empty band isn't random. A tiny shepherd moon runs along the edge, its gravity sweeping particles aside. Some orbits stay in tune with the moon, others get kicked out into the gap. The rings are like a giant vinyl record of gravity is playing the groove. Heading up to the North Pole now, time to see Saturn's hexagon from above. Most planets do circles. Saturn drew a perfect six-sided storm instead. Each straight edge is a jet stream locked in place by waves in the flowing air. We're flying a lap around a geometric hurricane that's been running for decades. That little white moon is Enceladus. The South Pole is spraying water into space. Those ice plumes feed one of Saturn's rings, like a hidden fountain topping it up. And over there is Titan, wrapped in orange haze, with rivers and lakes of methane instead of water. Ring tour 